What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today's video we're gonna be looking at Surf Witch. She is currently the item shop. She is a rare outfit. She does come with two selectable styles. She does come with the back main star power. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Surf Witch. Epic Games is at it again. Last summer we did get the Beach Bomber, which was basically the summer variant of the Bright Bomber. And this year we actually have the Surf Witch, which is the silver equivalent to Haze. The skin itself even has similar edit styles, which it changes her color scheme from pink to red. And you could just see it, it's very obvious what they're doing here. Haze is a very popular skin, so they're trying to capitalize on that to make a summer version of her. And to be honest, I think they failed. I do like the skin, but I would have wished they would have kept her hair not being in a ponytail. For me, it just makes the skin look a little bit ugly, and I really don't like it. The Surf Demon edit style has her hairstyle a lot better than the default version of her. And if they would have kept it, they should have just kept it as her hairstyle. Doesn't match the rarity. I'm gonna say the rarity is very decent. You do get two selectable styles. The back lane itself is mediocre. It's not the best, but I could see it actually being run with a lot of other skins. So that, that's a plus on that. So what's my final rating on Surf Witch? I'm gonna have to give Surf Witch a seven out of 10. The skin itself is decent. I really do like her. What's really saving her is the back lane itself. The back lane, it looks really good. And I really do like it. Her selectable styles as the Surf Demon actually looks very cool as well. It's just her default style for some odd reason really kills it for me. And it just doesn't match her at all since she is like a rock star and she's wearing a lot of bright colors that really rock stars wouldn't actually have. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For the first combination with Surf Witch with the default edit style, I am pairing her up with the 6-string. The 6-string actually matches really well with the whole theme and color scheme of the skin. As you can tell, she is into rock or metal, and having this back thing actually makes sense. The curl scheme actually matches really good with all pink she does have, so it's a win-win. And for the harvesting tool, we're gonna be going with the box. As you can tell, the box is a microphone, so it matches really good because she does have a guitar. The curl scheme matches really well as well, and that's another reason why I picked this. For the glider, I'm gonna be going with the Rose Rider. The Rose Rider is an all pink glider. It actually matches really well with the whole combination because it does have that metallic pink color scheme in the bottom of the handles and then on top is a lighter pink that really complements the skin. For the contra, we're going to be going with the rift lining. The rift lining is all pink lining that comes from both hands and feet. It actually looks pretty cool and that's another reason why I'm using it. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the chick. The main reason why I'm going with the chick is due to the color scheme. As you can tell, it starts off pink but it gets darker and darker and it just matches the whole persona of the skin and the color scheme. So enjoy the combo. For the next combination with the Surf Witch, I am pairing it up with the Broken Heart. The Broken Heart backlink actually matched perfectly in my opinion. As you can tell the backlink itself is primarily all black. It matches really good with her theme and then going with the black shirt she does have on. So it has that going for it. Also it does have a Broken Heart with a pink outline across it that really complements the pink from the skin. For the harvesting tool we're going with the Highlight Strikers with the Chick Edit Style. The Highlight Strikers are a very cool harvesting tool. As you can tell, they're normally katanas. They do have the handles that are pink and black, and that's the main reason why I picked them. And for the glider, we're gonna be going with the bat zone. The main reason why I'm going with the bat zone is because it's an all pink bat. It does have headphones, so it goes really well with the whole theme of music, and that's the reason why I picked it. For the contra, we're gonna be going with the hearts. The hearts contra is an all pink contra that you do have in both hands and feet. It also leaves hearts behind as you descend to the battlefield, and it just goes really well with the background. And for the rap, we're gonna be going with the bright blast. The main reason why I'm going with the Bright Blast is because of the color scheme. It does have primarily an all black color scheme that complements really nicely with the skin. And then it also has pink that goes really well with the skin as well. So enjoy the combo.
For the next combination, we're going to be looking at the Surf Witch with the Surf Demon Edistyle, and we're going to be pairing it up with the Malkor Wings. Now, the reason why I'm using the Malkor Wings with this combination is because the wings themselves complement really nicely with the horn she does have. She is a little demonic, so having the wings makes sense. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Burning Axe. The main reason why I'm going with the Burning Axe is because it fits the theme and curse scheme. She does like metal or rock, so having a guitar for a harvesting tool that's shaped like a demon just makes sense. It also has those horns that really complement the horns she does have as well. And for the glide, we're going to be going with the Astro World Cyclone. Now, keeping the whole flame theme going on, we're going to be going with this glider. It does have train tracks that are made of fire, and then the cart itself does have fire as well, and it just matches really well. For the Contra, we're going to be going with the Fireflies. The Fireflies Contra actually looks very clean. The red ribbon complements very nicely with the red she does have, and then having the flames and the lanterns themselves looks really good as well. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the knighted. The knighted wrap is an all black and red wrap. It actually matches perfectly with the curve scheme of the skin, and overall, a very nice fit. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination with the Surf Witch, with the Surf Demon Edistout, I am pairing it up with the Cuddle Pulse Bow. Now, the Cuddle Pulse Bow actually fits perfectly on her back. It does have a similar curse scheme to the red shirt she does have, and I just like it how it looks. For the Harvesting Tool, we're going to be going with the Thorn with the default Edistout. Now, the Thorn Harvesting Tool is a very fitting Harvesting Tool. It is very cheap in the item shop as well, it is 500 V-Bucks, it does have the curse scheme of red and black that the skin does utilize. For the Glider, we're going to be going with the Sky Serpent with the default Edistout. The Sky Serpent is a new glider that was introduced during this season and my god, it fits perfectly. The curse scheme of red and black fits really well and I just like it how it looks when you descend to the battlefield with it. And for the Contra, we're gonna be going with Glitch in the System. Glitch in the System actually fits really well with the skin. It is a red Contra so it has that going for it. It also illuminates your skin as you're descending to the battlefield with a red glow that looks very cool. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the Blasted. The Blasted wrap utilizes the curse scheme of red and black but it primarily uses red. I really do like it, it stands out and looks very cool when you're holding a weapon or riding a vehicle. So enjoy the combo. For the first combination with the star power, I am pairing it up with Night Beam. The reason why I'm pairing up the back name with Night Beam is for the simple fact that she does have a pink glow. As you can tell, her arms and hair are glowing pink and it matches perfectly with the back name itself. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the street shine. The main reason why I'm going with the street shine is because I want to keep the neon lights as much as possible. The curse skins of the harvesting tool itself is pink and blue, and as you can tell, she does have a blue jacket, and then the pink complements the hair and the back wing. And for the glider, we're going to be going with the side rider. The side rider is an all pink glider. It is very cool, it does have a very bright curse scheme, and it matches really well. And for the control, we're going to be going with the neon tubes. The main reason why I'm going with the neon tubes is because it has so many different curse schemes that matches basically the skin and the harvesting tool. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Enigma. The Enigma wrap does have and utilizes the curse schemes of light blue and pink. As you can tell, it also has an animation of pink one across it that really fits really well with the harvesting tool and the back wing. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination of the star power, I am pairing it up with the power cord. What better way to actually utilize the star power than with the power cord? She's a rock star after all, so having neon lights as a backing makes sense. 
then it does match perfectly with the clear scheme over here and that's the reason why i picked it for the harvesting tool we're going with the rip edge the rip edge is one of my favorite pink harvesting tools and it never disappoints this combination looks very clean especially because the harvesting tool matches perfectly with the backlink and the power cord for the glider we're going to be going with the metal mark with the chick edit style the reason why i'm using the chick edit style is because it's solid pink it matches perfectly with the curse schemes of the backlink and that's the main reason why i picked it and for the contra we're going to be going with the boom drop the main reason why I picked the boom drop is for the pink cards. It does leave a kaboom lettering as you're the same to the battlefield, but the lettering goes really well with the gold chain of the harvesting. Now, wrapping it all together, we're gonna be going with the hex wave. The main reason why I'm using the hex wave is because of the pink and purple color scheme. As you can tell with the skin, she does have pink hair and purple pants, and then she does have fishnecks as in her arms that really complement the white of the wrap itself. So enjoy the combo. Those are the four combinations I've found so far for the Surf Witch and the two combinations I've found so far for Star Power. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kit, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the Iron Shop or the Epic Game Store, I do make a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. Also, if you have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social medias and discourse, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.